Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Automation of Sathak and in this video we will learn about the difference between Cucumber expressions and regular expressions. I have individually done videos on Cucumber expressions and regular expressions but let's say for example in a particular step definition 5 you want to use Cucumber expressions as well as regular expressions. So what are the things that you need to be careful about? All those things we will learn in this particular video. So stay tuned and watch till the end and I will definitely uh, tell, tell in the example format what are the things that you need to do even I will go ahead and uh, try something which I have not even tried yet but anyways we'll work together so let's go ahead if you remember in my previous video I did tell you about the fact that I had created this feature file okay cucumber expression feature and I had this runner file and this cucumber expression uh, step definition file <clears throat> now this particular file was purely purely for cucumber expressions okay now let me run this particular file okay so this was purely a step definition file on cucumber expressions if you go and carefully see each and everything you will see that in this first step these are two cucumber expressions this one is also in cucumber expression and this one is a cucumber expression and this one is also a cucumber expression we do not have any regular expression inside of it and in this particular step we have two cucumber expressions corresponding to this feature file i don't know why it is still showing yellow but one second guys so let me just check this no i'm not doing here sorry Okay, now Okay, now the error is gone. I was just worried about the fact that whether uh, this one was showing certain warnings. Now this these errors are gone. Uh, just my uh, save and all that stuff. Okay, okay, now let's go ahead. Uh, if you can see this particular feature file here i have tried to make parameterize this chrome and the version number that is the browser version number i have made this one as a word and this one as i have given as a float if you remember these are the cucumber expressions in my previous video please guys do not watch this video if you have not watched the previous video go and watch the previous two videos of cucumber expressions and regular expressions then jump on to this video otherwise it will not make any sense now what i'm going to do is i will try let's do something first try using cucumber expression and regular expression together okay now instead of this word i want to re use regular expression for this chrome okay i want to parameterize it instead of this how will i parameterize it it is a pure alphabet so i will write something like this a minus z a minus capital z one comma right since i'm using a uh, regular expression i will have to start with this and i'll have to end with the dollar symbol perfect no problem now i will execute the runner we'll see what what error comes in so it is getting executed and it has failed as expected and what does it say you cannot use this the beginning and the end symbol in a cucumber expression please remove them from this particular part now the question is either i remove this okay let's say for example i remove this okay now i have a regular expression i have a cucumber expression and i do not have a beginning and end and we technically know that if a regular expression is mentioned we generally start with uh, the beginning symbol and end with the end symbol now we do not have this we have removed it so let's see how does this behave again it has failed okay so let's see what is the failure reason this time 
Now this says parameter types cannot be optional. I open a Chrome browser version float. This means that if you are trying to use this as an optional feature, it is not allowed. Either this technically means either you make this one also, uh, you know, a cucumber expression or this one also a regular expression or make this one a cucumber expression. So this actually proves. So what, are, what is the difference one? We cannot use cucumber expression and regular expression in the same step. It is not allowed. Okay, another thing. This beginning symbol and this dollar, which is the end symbol, are not allowed while using cucumber expression this is the second difference but it is but this has to be allowed when we use this is a mandate when we use regular expressions so technically these are the two major differences which you need to do the third difference which i'll tell you if we use string cucumber expression then Then in the feature file, we have to pass the parameter in either double quotes, either single quotes or in double quotes. But no such thing while using a regular expression. So this we have to remember. Okay, now let's say for example, I click on login button. Okay, uh, let me take this step definition, a third step definition. Here neither there is any kind of a regular expression nor any kind of a cucumber expression. So what I will do, let's say for example, tomorrow this button becomes a link or something of that sort. Okay, so now I will make this button as a regular expression. So I'll change this. I'll write here a minus z, a minus z, one, comma. Oops. Okay. Now, uh, as per uh, regular expression setup, we have to give the beginning and the end symbol. Now this is done. Okay. I'll save it. I will run the runner file. Let's say. It failed because parameter types optional. One second, guys. Okay, see, I have not changed this one. So bad. Sorry. I should have removed it. I did not. I forgot to remove that. Is one step definition cannot have both regular expressions and cucumber expression expressions. It can either have one of them. Okay. It can have multiple uh, cucumber expressions and multiple uh, regular expressions, but it cannot have either of the two. Scenario. Step I click on login is defined with zero parameters. One second, guys. What was okay? I forgot. I'm sorry. String uh, mm, button type. Okay, I forgot this thing. Now run as. I think this time, yes, it passes. Okay, so the point is you'll have to be very, very careful if you are, you know, applying any sort of a cucumber expression or regular expressions, you have to pass the parameters here in the method body. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Okay, now there is one thing which you should also be careful about. Uh, let's say, for example, I'll click on the continue button. This button, I'm marking it as string. 
for this particular feature continue button i am marking this as a string okay so what i'll do i'll but i'll mark it as a cucumber expression not as a regular expression so what i will do simple string and here i will pass string button type 1 okay because it was button type over there main button type 1 now what i will do i will not change this button into single quote or double quote i will leave it like this okay i'll not change now let me run this sorry it will throw an error see it throws an error it will say is undefined why because when we are passing a cucumber expression especially in the string format typically you have to go to the feature file and whatever you are passing you will either have to give it in double quote or single quote i i always choose to give it in double quote because anyways i'm passing string and string representation looks much better with double quotes okay so now i have done that now if i run this particular run of file this will work absolutely fine see everything is passed so the third difference which we have encountered is that this if we use string as a cucumber expression then in the feature file we have to pass the parameter in either single quotes or double quotes okay but we uh, let's say for example if we did this for this particular login button for step 3 did we change anything in feature file no it was only button but in this case we had to make it like this okay so these are the basic differences between cucumber expression and regular expression which one will i advise well i think uh, cucumber expressions are new and they are easy to remember because uh, typically if you do not practice this on a daily basis you will tend to forget this imagine anything who will remember this it's it's a little cumbersome to remember certain symbols anyways we have to remember a lot of things now these things add up so it is much easier i think cucumber expressions are the new favorites in life everything has to become more simplified so this you know makes our life little bit more simpler okay so if it is easier and simpler and we can use it and it gives almost equivalent and better results then why not use cucumber expressions from now onwards i will only use cucumber expressions okay i hope you enjoyed this small session and if you did please do not forget to subscribe to my channel sathya signing off